Welcome to New York City, where you can get boba from a tiger's mouth and Victorian themed flower cocktails. And also, you can stay overnight in a ship cabin. Let me show you. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to explore another tiny, tiny hotel in New York City. It's called the Jane Hotel, and it's kind of centered around a boat ship, old boat ship theme. Let's go to the Jane Hotel. This is one of the smallest hotels in New York City. I would consider it a pod hotel. And they're not that well advertised, but I got this from Agoda for around 45 to $50 a night. The Jane Hotel was built in 1908 and it was restored in 2008. It was originally a hotel for sailors with the cabin-like rooms. And in 1912, the survivors of the Titanic stayed in the hotel until the end of the American inquiry. There's lots of storage and there's also a safe to keep valuable items. It comes with towels and also some slippers. The lights are dimmable and there's two different lights in the room and then there's pretty good window light as well. And also there's a fan right on top. The fan, you can also control the speed and I didn't notice any bad smells in the hotel. This is the single cabin. There's also an option for a double room with two beds and then the captain quarters, which is a larger bed for two people. Here I am in the cabin. It's small, but not as small as the other one I went to. So that's definitely still the smallest. There's a huge mirror that makes it look a lot bigger. I'm really hungry. It's cute. It's really cute. I like it a lot. Oh. I do have to go to the bathroom, so I want to show you the bathroom facilities. Um, let's go. Let's go to the bathroom. Just found this place. Um, it's called Muscle Something, but I got an Impossible Burger and a protein shake, and I'm really excited. It's really, really hungry. The meal I just had was very underwhelming. The Impossible Burger was impossibly mediocre. The shake's not that good. It was very expensive. Now I'm walking home in the rain. I don't have any good time. I like being alone. Let's get back to the Jane Ship Hotel. Back to the ship. Back to the ocean. So coming into New York City by myself is always extremely overwhelming for me, but this is how it is in all cities. And there's two aspects that I kind of I kind of like it because it feels big and chaotic, kind of like you're drifting through life, like you're not there, but you can see everything else happening. I don't know how to explain it. And I'm kind of used to it at this point because I push myself so much and I've overwhelmed myself so much that I have to somehow try to enjoy it. And I do get enjoyment out of it, but at the end of the day, it gives me a massive buildup in my head. I don't know, I wish I could handle it all better. And I'm just like, how did I travel to other countries all alone with two massive suitcases and nobody with me and going through a lot of 
painful personal stuff. I'm like, how did I do that? I just did it. And I think the lesson for all of you guys is just if you if you think of something, just do it. There's so many excuses you can make to why you shouldn't do it or couldn't do it. But the only thing that you actually need to do is do it. I have a massive headache most of the times when I'm doing this type of stuff. I don't know, it's worth it. I look back and I'm like, I'm glad, like, I, I look back and I cherish those moments. And it's always uncomfortable and it never gets easier. And I'm just telling you that. It doesn't really get easier. You just learn how to just do it more. Yeah. So that's besides the point. That's just what I'm thinking right now because I have a huge trip planned and I hope that this is the kickoff of many other huge trips of my traveling again and I just went all out this time. It's all out. And probably in the next video I'll tell you where I'm going. You can guess in the comments if you want. Perhaps some of you probably know. It's a long journey and I know I'm going to I always get so nervous before I do anything ever whether I'm going into New York, New York, whether I'm checking into a new hotel, whether I'm checking into a new restaurant, it doesn't matter. It's all the same, guys. I'm scared, but I'm so excited. That's my talk. Now I'm going to tell you more about the hotel. The hotel room is very small, but it comes with all the essentials, a TV if you'd like. I don't watch TV, but you can have it if you want it. I also discovered it actually does have air conditioning. There is air conditioner in here. I didn't even know. It's hanging. I thought it was just a fan. Yes, it's so warm. Friendship. As you guys know, I have pretty strict nighttime and morning routines. But I didn't bring anything with me uh, here. No toothbrush or toothpaste or body wash or anything. I usually trust the hotel might have something. Check out these cool necklaces I got from Etsy. I got this one. It's like a board. This one. It's like a little chip. I really like them. The next adventure is going to be less cyberpunk and more Laura Croft. Let's go to the I always have an extra face wash packet in my book bag with me, so I just use that to wash my face, but they didn't have any toothpaste or toothbrush or anything, which I should have thought that they probably wouldn't. salad and some fries and you guys can enjoy it with me because I am alone in my cabin in the sea. Hydrated? Remember to bring water with you to your excursions otherwise you're gonna have to pay like $17. Travel! Yeah! <laughs> I don't know why but I have the worst headache. I've had it for a long time. I tried to go to sleep early because I couldn't function. I just died. I died. I think it's because of this. I think it's because today I socialized too much. Which isn't even that much. Like, I had boba tea on an empty stomach. And then a cocktail with no food. And I had no caffeine today. That's probably the biggest thing. Usually I do. I'm surprised I didn't. And maybe just walking around the city was really loud. I couldn't put my headphones in. Usually when I'm in the city, I'm not really with somebody else. Maybe that's what it is too, because I didn't have my headphones in. I don't know. It's probably a lot of things. But I have a major headache. Well, alone and no one can be sorry for me. Except for me. And I'll always feel sorry for me. <laughs> Travel. I love having a fan where I stay. It is essential to my well-being to be able to sleep at all. And the bed is small. I keep hitting this thing. 
It is very small. You could not fit two people. You can barely fit one. But that's ship life for you. When you live out on the sea, you have to have a small bed, like me. Update on my very exciting and adventurous life. The kitchen, for some reason, couldn't fulfill my order. They gave me a coupon code, but I get no water tonight. I'm so thirsty. No salad, no water, I'm sorry. I'm disappointed too. But at least I saved some money. Oh, it's really hot here. I need to put the AC back on. You know what happens? So I went down to the desk and asked for a scrub of water. And they gave me this whole thing. And I'm like, how am I supposed to actually? He's like, oh, here. <laughs> water. This is perfect though. This is perfect because like, I didn't want to order the food. I saved money. I got a $10 coupon and I got beautiful water. See you guys? No, not everything is bad that seems bad. Baby Jane. Okay, so now I'm going to sleep for real. I got up and got a quick shower, which I don't really like taking showers at hostels, but they also didn't have a changing area and it was male and female bathrooms, so that's kind of weird. So checkout was at 12 p.m. I then went and found some coffee nearby, and that is the tour of the Jane Hotel. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Stay tuned for some bigger, more bold adventures. Stay extraterrestrial.